Hi, I'm Jennifer of CelticKnotCrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to finish the Celtic Knot bracelet. It's a free pattern that you can find on my blog at CelticKnotCrochet.com. There's another video that teaches you how to weave this knot, but right now I want to show you once you've woven the knot how to finish it. Now you can go through on the back side of the knot using the yarn tails that I weaved in so you can't see them right now and secure all these crossings so your knot doesn't shift and all the spaces stay even. So when you go to finish the bracelet without sewing it, you may use the glue gun and put a small dab behind all the crossings and it will prevent the knot from shifting and keep all the spaces nice and even. and because you don't wash this it works perfectly. If you plan on washing it or you plan on making something else with this knot putting it on a garment, some people have made a headband out of it then I don't recommend using the hot glue gun. You should go through and sew all of these crossings. Then you can also use the glue gun to secure the ends. So you just overlap you can choose to do it either way. I'm going to take the one that last went under and have it go over. Put a small bead of glue there and then place the other cord on top and by putting them at an angle they now make a nice point as you can see and I'm going to repeat that on the other side show you again a small dot of hot glue there, take the other and put it at an angle like so, alright, now the next step is to attach some ribbon clamps they are metal, they come in all different sizes. These might be a little too small. And you put it around the end of the crocheted section and you take some jewelry pliers or any pliers you have on hand and you squeeze it down. You could add some glue underneath but I find it's hard to keep the glue from uh, coming out and showing. And there are teeth right here on the ribbon clamp that grab into it. I don't know if you can see them. They grab into the fabric of the crochet and are on there nice and tight. And it chomps down on it like that and it's a really nice way of attaching the jewelry parts to your bracelet without it looking sloppy. So I put it around, squeezed it down hard, and then if you look closely there's a small loop, can you see that? A small loop on the outside of the ribbon clamp and that's where you would attach a jump ring. Jump ring is just a tiny metal ring. They come in all different sizes. When you open them, you open them by pressing it this way. And you loop that through the loop on the bracelet and then through the loop on the clasp and then to join it back up you slide it back together. So with the ring you don't open it this way, you open it up that way. So it's sideways and then you slide them back together. And I'll do that for the other side. So I take the jump ring and I slide it over like that. Then I put that through the loop on the ribbon clamp and 
to try to grab this from the other side. And then the other side of the clasp, I loop through the jump ring, and then I close it back up. And sometimes you need to help it close a little, like that. And there you have the Celtic Knot bracelet with the jewelry findings. Thanks for watching.